Here we have Bible Tit-Tat-Toe. Uh, this is a vintage game, as you can tell. Uh, it's missing a piece, and it's not worth that much anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this on the shelf. Here we have Stompin' or Stompus or something. Uh, Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, sadly, it's not worth that much, and I think this is missing pieces anyway, so leaving it. Here's the Five Crowns card game. Pretty cool game. Uh, it's priced well here, but we already have a copy, and it doesn't sell for much, so leaving it. Here we have Bible Baseball. Uh, my pastor told me about this game, and he used to play this with his youth group. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this game up for him. I'm sure he'll get a hoot out of it. Here we have Splat. Uh, here's another game we have a copy of. Uh, the condition this game is in is missing the Play-Doh. I could probably get about 25 for it, so I'll pick it up. Here we have Connect 4 Launchers. Uh, this is in great shape. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. We don't have this game, and my wife and I like the Connect 4 series. Here's a game called Amago. This is a marble stone solitaire game of some kind. Uh, I'll go ahead and pick it up. I don't have it. Why not give it a shot? Here we have a game called Pass the Bomb. Uh, this game is complete. Uh, we don't have this game. Uh, I figured I'll go ahead and pick this up and give this game a try. We like war games. Here is Deluxe Triominoes. We have a copy of Triominoes, but we don't have this copy. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and pick this copy up. Here we have Monopoly Millionaire. I played this game on an app, and I didn't really like it that much. This game doesn't have all the parts either, so leaving it. Here we have Uno Moo. One of these days, we're going to pick this game up if it's complete. Sadly, this one is not complete, so back to the corral. Here we have Perfection. This is the first edition. Really, really good shape, and it comes with everything. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I like the uh, fact it has a little score thing. Here we have Scrutinize. I see this game from time to time, and it always sells well. You can usually get about $20, $25 for it, so I'll go ahead and pick this up. Here we have the game Speak Out. This is a game that's a lot of fun if you're with the right group, and my family doesn't really like this kind of game, so I'll leave this here in the shelf. Here we have Sequence States and Capitals. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. It's a good price, and we don't have this version yet. I get back here, so yay! Here's an old game called Hearts from Parker Brothers. I think this is from like the 1940s. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I don't have it. might review it. Here we have Risk Lord of the Rings. So this is the first edition. Uh, normally this game goes for about $20 to $30 and it comes complete, so I'm going to pick it up. Here we have Monopoly Doctor Who. Um, this game, I think you can probably sell for maybe $10, bucks, but nah, leaving it. Here we have Rook Plus. Uh, we have a copy of this game, and uh, this game, once again, does not go for much on eBay, so I'm going to leave it. Here we have NFL Game Day. This uh, is a game that my wife and I probably would never, ever play, um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this. And speaking of sports, here's Full Count Baseball. Uh, once again, looks like a really cool game, but again, we're never going to play it. We're not into sports games, so I'm going to leave it. Here we have The Simpsons Clue. Um, not a fan of The Simpsons, but you know what? They've got some nice miniatures, so I'll go ahead and pick that up for the miniatures. Here we a game called This Versus That. Uh, looks like an interesting game I think my family would like, so I'll go ahead and pick it up. Here we have Split Second. Uh, we also have a copy of this game, and this game doesn't sell for much, sadly. So once again, on the shelf you go. Here's a game called High Command. This is a deck-building game of some kind. Uh, I think you can get a few bucks for this, maybe 10, 12. I'll go ahead and pick it up. Here we have Zabondo. Very interesting title. Um, I think I'm going to leave this on the shelf. It's not worth that much, if anything. Here we have Owari, a 3M bookshelf game. We have this game, and uh, once again, this game doesn't go for much, and it costs too much here anyway. So, back on the shelf you go. Here we have an old bingo game. I think this comes from the 70s. Uh, really good shape and complete, but we don't play bingo, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Here we have a Florentine Chessman King size set, set of some kind. This goes for probably about 30 bucks, so I'm going to pick this up. And I'll show you the pieces. Um, most of these pieces are weighted, except for the pawns. The king is like 4 inches high, and it's about 3.5 ounces. Really nice set. So here we have a game called 15. This is some kind of a puzzle game. Um, for $10, I ain't going to go spending that much for this, so I'm leaving you. 
Here we have Bananagrams. Uh, there's two copies of the game here. Uh, we have this game. It's a pretty fun little word game, uh, but it doesn't go for much, so I'm going to leave it here once again. Here we have Tom Clancy's Politica. Uh, looks like a really interesting game. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and pick it up. It has everything in there. Here we have Sharpshooters. Great game if you're looking for chips and dice. Uh, I was going to get it for that, but it actually it's new, so I think I can get about 15 for it, so I'll pick it up. Here we have U.S. Armed Forces Pictionary. I have never heard of this version of Pictionary. Apparently eBay hasn't either. It's not worth much, so I'm leaving you. Well, folks, once again, that does it for us this week. We will see you soon. Y'all take care.